What is a cow's favorite weapon? A machine gun. They appreciate how quickly it can fire all those bullets. Welcome to the stream. <laughs> That's probably the joke that is most most distantly unconnected from the thing that I've played so far. <laughs> oh, but welcome in, my friends. Happy to have you here. We've got a full house in the chat tonight. MK, I wasn't able to join your streams because I'm sleeping at night. I'm mostly watching the VOD, so I pass to say hello, and I appreciate that. Thank you. I mean, I understand, you know, I stream at very unreasonable hours. But I, I really do appreciate that you are uh, keeping up with some of the VODs. I, I appreciate that you like what we're doing around here. Lucent Jelly, welcome in, as well as Hooked on Pot. Iterama, thank you for the positivity. And Stack Cat, I am also tremendously sad that Hercules died. Thank you for the uh, link to the uh, memory cards, though. Um, I, haven't, uh, I haven't ordered one yet, but I'm, I'm almost certain I'm going to. Um, and hopefully sooner rather than later. Um, I think that the thing that deleted my memory cards, I think the problem I'm having isn't a bad battery problem. I think it's an issue from a bad read on the cartridge. Um, it seems to... There seems to be something where a game that relies on a memory card, when I, when I have it in, if I turn on Nintendo 64 and it doesn't read the cartridge properly, like I have to take it out and reseat the cartridge, it seems like when that happens, the memory card goes as well. I think they're linked, the, 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 the errors. I'm not exactly sure how. But I think it has something to do with like the way that like Nintendo always told you to hold the reset button when you power off a game that has a battery backup save on the NES. I don't know. Mile Hyrule, good to see you. Glad you're here. And uh, early enough for the joke. <laughs> I hope it was worth it. Bel Air Jeff, great to see you. Have a good stream, Fr Agent Frowny and his Frown Town comrades. I hope we will. I hope we will. In Alaska, it's 8 p.m. <laughs> That's true. It's only uh, it's only unreasonable for me, I guess. <laughs> Jeff says, thanks again for the raid yesterday. We're going to try to pay it back today. Well, thank you, Jeff. And uh, I, I always appreciate you stopping by with your crew, but uh, don't feel like you, uh, like you owe me, like you have to pay it back. But uh, we always want you to come by whenever, uh, whenever you want to see what, what's going on here. We like to have you. Ah, uh, okay. So what are we doing? Tonight we're going to play Super C, and we're going to play Mission Impossible. That's going to be awful. And then we're going to finish up with Doom 64. So we're going to, I'm expecting to have sort of a middling time with Super C, and then uh, it's, it's going to plummet down to the depths of misery with uh, Mission Impossible, and then hopefully we'll climb back out will climb back out of the pit of despair with doom that's uh that's the way i'm anticipating things going <laughs> hooked on pot thank you for the pistachios i feel like there was something else i wanted to talk about at the top of the stream and i've already forgotten it Oh, Iterama, I wanted to, uh, I wanted to mention I was, a. Uh, so I didn't say anything in your chat, but I was lurking in your stream earlier today. That game that you're playing, Shadow, Shadow something, that Ninja Gaiden style game that you're playing, that looked amazing. I think I'm going to have to play that. Cyber Shadow. I think I'm going to have to play that. That looked really fun. Sparrow, welcome in. Great to have you with us again, Sparrow. 
as it always is. It's really good, tough but fun with an amazing soundtrack. Yeah, I was I was I was digging the music. I was having a good time. I had you on in the background while my uh, while my electrician was here again looking at the looking at the lights. We have four lights. We have four problematic lights in our house and uh, I had an electrician came by and he did an amazing job. Great, great great guy really good really good at his job he fixed three of our lights the fourth one and the fourth one he, he almost fixed but then he discovered that the wires in the ceiling had burned to a crisp and so <laughs> there are bigger problems than a there are bigger problems than we initially suspected Good to hear. Thanks for coming by. No problem. It's a uh, it's very easy to stop by a stream where the times are good. So we're going to do a run or two through Super C. This is my continuing practice for a no power run. Um, I've done a one credit clear, I think, twice in Super C. The one life clear is the uh, is the real goal. And, uh, I don't know. Sometimes practice goes really well, sometimes it goes really rough. I, I don't feel like we're close to one life, but I gotta keep playing it so that I can... So that I can hone my skills. So we'll do a run, maybe two, through Super C. And, uh, see what we get. Uh, oof, older house. Yeah, yeah. I think the house was built in a. The house was built in the early 60s. Um, my parents had an in wall fire from old uninsulated wires. Oh no. Unfortunately, we didn't have that. And the wires. The wires are insulated. I think it was just a, an issue of a. I don't know what he called it. He called it flashback from the bulb. We had a bulb that I I don't know I'm not an electrician. <laughs> Apparently a, a bulb went bad or something and that and that caused the the burning of the wires because it's all immediately near the like light socket. All right, so we're gonna get moving. I'm gonna start the timer and. Uh, the timer will run until well i'm not going to start the timer because master tuesday is here welcome in master tuesday and he has uh requested that i eat a terrible bean so we're going to do that first <laughs> but when i do hit start in just a moment we're going to run the timer until the first death and uh if i die on stage one or two i get to reset those are the our standard rules Oh, let's hope for something good. Hey! It's this bean again, my best friend, the blue bean. The blue bean's great because it can't be bad. The blue bean is berry or toothpaste, which is not super great, but is essentially mint, and I can live with it. Good bean vibes? I hope so. Yep, that's toothpaste. It really does taste like toothpaste, too. I don't know how, in what way, toothpaste flavor is different from plain mint flavor. But they made it happen. Because it tastes almost exactly like my toothpaste. In fact, in fact, so much so that I probably couldn't tell the difference between the two if I were assuming that they were the same somehow made to be the same texture ok 
Okay, here we go. It just occurred to me. It just occurred to me. So, because my memory card went bad for my uh, for my N64, I've lost my save file for Doom. So I've got to use the password to get back to the level I was on. And it just occurred to me that I forgot to look up the password. <laughs> so I'll have to do that during uh, the BRB or whatever. It won't be that. It won't be that hard. Oh man, I don't like opening the uh, I don't like opening the capsules on the no power run. I would prefer not to even see the power ups. I think where I'm, when I get to the point where I'm only dying like 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 once or twice during the runs, and I'm really close to um, obtaining it. I'm going to make it a strict rule that uh, that opening up that opening a capsule is failure. I like the idea of the no power up run involving not even seeing the power ups. Ah, uh, no. Alas, I've got to hit reset. My reset sword is out of reach, though, so I've, I've got to scoot over there and grab it. My wooden sword. This is how I reach the reset button on my consoles. For anyone who may not have been here. I can also use it to pick up my controller off the floor. Have you ever played ukulele? I have not, Mile High Rule. Um, I kind of, I kind of looked, looked at it when it was when it was new. Like I looked at the trailers. It seemed that a lot of people were saying pretty bad things about it when it came out. So I was kind of waiting to see like if it got patched and got better. And then I was thinking I would probably pick it up because I because I like that type of game. Um but then I just I just never have. I've never gotten around to it. <laughs> it's still terrible. <laughs> Uh, even better. I mean, <laughs> considering the caliber of things I often play. That may be even better. Uh, that was very messy. I 
I still have a piece of that jelly bean stuck in my tooth, and I'm kind of worried I'm going to have it there all night. I mean, I guess it's sugar, right? It should it should dissolve eventually. The sequel is great, though. That's kind of what I heard. The um, Impossible Lair, I heard that, that that was good. I think I'll play both of them eventually. I just have so many games to play. It's 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 overwhelming. Whoa. I'm trying to be more serious about not opening capsules. It's very difficult because I don't I don't know where all the capsules spawn. Um, still, I, I mean, I've got a pretty good idea of where most of them spawn, but the exact timings are not... are not a piece of wisdom that I possess. This is a mess. No, I opened a capsule. All right, well, now I guess I don't care. Hey, we got uh we got some folks coming in. Ook the librarian, thank you for the uh thank you for the raid. Much appreciated, Ook. Great to have you here, and welcome to your friends. Uh we are practicing Super C with no powers. Uh the goal is to do it in one life someday. I've been able to do one credit clear, but the one life clear eludes me. Um, Sparrow, I don't know if you're still here, Sparrow, but uh, if you are, could you do a shout out for uh, Ook for us? If not, if not, I'll definitely do it, but I can't while my timer's running. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much, Sparrow. Hmm. 
Hope you guys had a great stream over there. Looks like Mario Kart 8. I haven't played Mario Kart 8 in a while. I thought I was pretty good at I thought I was pretty good at it. You know, I played offline and I I you know, I could I I don't know if I got all the gold medals, but I got most of them, I think. And I thought I was pretty decent at the game, and then I started, uh... <laughs> and then I started playing with some people I met on Twitch, and... I am not good at Mario Kart 8. <laughs> I consistently, consistently ranked at the bottom of the leaderboard. But it's still a fun time. I haven't played all the Mario Karts, um, but I got really in. I was really into Super Mario Kart and Mario Kart 64 back when they were, you know, current. And I got really into Mario Kart Wii and a bit into Mario Kart 8. But all the other ones, I pretty much haven't played. If I if I have played any of them, it's only been like a a race or two. So little that I don't even remember doing it. If my uh, if my GameCube ever starts behaving properly again, I hope to do double dash on the on the stream because we've done uh, we've done the first two on the stream already. Whoa! I am fighting this boss so slow and sloppily. This is this is ugly. What am I even doing? I need to pay attention. I need to get focused. I can't believe how long this battle has gone on. Hello, man. Welcome in to you as well. And, uh, and Pally. Great to see you. Sorry, I can't really, can't really keep up with the chat. Not until, uh, not until I die, at least.
Contra games are very jealous. They demand all of your attention. This level is more or less always a problem for me. Do they go this way? Yeah, they go this way. Okay, that's good. The bubbles. No. All right. Well, I died. I can catch up with the chat. <laughs> That's terrible. Ah, uh, but we were we were doing really well. But there it goes. All right. Let me take just a moment to read what everyone's been saying. Gonna be a raid and run. Afraid. I'm afraid. I'll keep you on lurk though. No worries. No worries. I don't. Uh, I don't blame you for that. Ook. I, uh, I've had to do that myself from time to time. I'm on hold to an insurance company, so only kind of, sort of here. <laughs> Again, no worries, Sparrow. Um, I assume that's about your car. I hope that I hope that, that there's not some some new difficulty that you're having to deal with. Um, it was a blast. I was the only one not playing, but everyone had their moment. Right on. Oh, Pally says I was late because I was still in the Mario Kart match. Um, Hollow Man says, I played a lot of Double Dash, but it's probably my least favorite Mario Kart I played. At the time, I was speedrunning my summer... I was spending... <laughs> I just read that as speedrunning. I was spending my summer at a cabin, and it was one of the few games I had with me. I understand Contra is hard and requires attention. No need to apologize, but I am fairly exhausted and going to fall asleep right away. We'll keep the stream on, open to lurk, though. Good luck. Thank you for being here, a hollow man, and I hope that you rest well when you fall asleep. Thank you for the lurk. All right, well, this this run is dead, but we're going to keep going because I need I need all the practice. Lasers. These lasers take a really long time to take out with the uh, with the no power gun. <laughs> it looked like my bullets went through that.
I'm really glad no purple guys ran in from the left. Whoa. Like it's been a while since I've heard the one up sound effect. It's such a wonderful sound. There's too much going on, I can't handle it. <laughs> this fight is a disaster. <laughs> made it through and we made it through without a death oh, that didn't feel like that was gonna happen exactly exactly uh, itty <laughs> one up sound effect in one credit clear oh thank goodness one up sound effect in deathless don't don't tease me opened another capsule. I have, I have no, I have, as much as I've played this, I've never gained, I've never developed any wisdom for passing by these mouths. It's always just, it's still just a matter of luck for me. sure there must be some strategy for getting through there safely and can at least semi consistently but i don't i haven't figured it out and i don't uh i try to avoid content on uh regarding games that i haven't beaten or that i'm working on challenge runs for so like if there's a speed run strategy that gets you through there really easily like i don't know it and don't want to know it but I really look forward. I really look forward to when I'm finally like have retired all the challenges I want to do in this game to looking and seeing like <laughs> what what the easy way what the easy way could have been if I were less uh, if I were less stubborn on trying to figure things out on my own. Uh. So was that one death on this level? Does that mean that makes two for this run so far? I think I only died once to the to the mouths.
don't think anything else got me. It's so it's so difficult. I I immediately become unclear on the details of what I just did. I, that's why whenever I whenever I hit a milestone with a with a challenge like you know like where I get the one credit clear or I or I do it in two lives or one life or something like that whenever I hit one of those milestones I'm always unsure and I have to go and scrub through my own vods to make sure I, I'm not misremembering how the run went <laughs> It's gonna jinx me to say this, but uh, for as much as I've been like really afraid of this section, I think I am getting a little better at it. but only a little. Um, I hear that I avoid info for some games. I learned about one chest in Super g, &G from watching another stream. Everything else was learned by playing. Right on. Yeah. I, I learned I learned about Super g, &G the, the the hard way <laughs> as, a, as a child. Oh. I put I put so many hours into that game. That was two deaths right there, right? So we're at four. It's a real shame. Oh, but I said there's five. I said I was jinxing myself, right? I didn't find everything in the in Super Ghouls and Ghosts my, on my own, um, but most of the stuff I, I know about it I found out from just playing it over and over and over again for years and years. I think there are two chests. There are two chests that I learned about um, from watching other people play. There's one in the um, the second half of the snow level um, near the first ladder. Um, that I'm still I'm still like foggy on how to spawn that chest. I know it's there, but I have a hard time getting it to spawn. And there's one on the first section of level four, um, where it kind of looks like where there are two. There's a there's a green uh, fire tower guy, and then there's like what looks like a couple stair steps, and the uh, the blue muscle guys come flying out at you, and you can jump off one of those steps to spawn a chest. I didn't know about that chest. I always thought there was one in that area, but there's two.
Um, every, I think every other chest in the game I found myself. I never figured out the mechanic of how the bracelet works, though. I was never able to beat the game until I found out. I don't, I don't even remember where I learned it, but I found out from something online, I think it must have been, about how the bracelet works. That it, you know, gold armor, chest, second loop. Because the instruction manual tells you to keep an eye out for fairies to find the bracelet. And <laughs> and so I always thought it had something to do with the, uh, with the fairy type uh, enemies in the game. I thought there was some trick to getting one of them to drop it. And I thought the, the bracelet was a unique item hidden in one specific location. Because that's what the princess's dialogue implies, but... I don't know. I didn't know what I didn't know. The information that I had, the hints that the hints that were provided to me by the game, led me to many false assumptions. <laughs> Whoa. The stair step chest was the one you saw on another stream. All right, I'm in good company then. Got to jump high over the spikes rather than go low for the gold money bag. That's probably why I never. Uh, that's probably why I never found it then. Because who can pass? Who can pass up on a money bag? Right, we did it. It wasn't a terrible run. That was four deaths, I think. That was pretty good practice. I find it by accident with a messed up jump input. I was kind of upset when I saw that chest appear. <laughs> yeah. I feel I feel that. All right. Well, you know what? I'm going to I'm going to exercise greater wisdom and restraint than I normally do, and I'm going to stop the practice for the night there. I'm going to take my own advice that that it's best to quit after a good run. It'll be diminishing returns otherwise. <laughs> Cuz we're not on a grind yet, so I think we'll rest super C here for tonight and we'll go ahead and move on to uh, some of our main events. So thank you very much for enjoying Super C with me, and if you'll just uh, excuse me for a, a very brief moment, I'm just going to switch out the consoles, and we will fire at Mission Impossible, and I will suffer and struggle for the next couple hours. <laughs> because that game is a mess. Ending on a high before that, <laughs> before that Mission Impossible 64 dive? Exactly. That is exactly what I'm doing. I'm going to try and hold this uh, 
I'm going to try and hold this positive feel feeling when I'm when I'm wandering through the underworld that is Mission Impossible. So stand by just a minute, my friends. Just a moment, and I'll be right back with you. <laughs> 